Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to explain about an exciting feature introduced in Spring Boot 3.4 that is built-in support for embedding ActiveMQ Classic. If you have worked with message driven system you know how vital message brokers are. They decouple components, it ensures reliable communications and also helps to build scalable applications. Before this release Setting up ActiveMQ in Spring Boot, it's a required external in installations or manual configurations. Now, with this release that is Spring Boot 3.4, embedding ActiveMQ Classic is simpler, quicker and perfect for lightweight use cases. In this session, we will explore what this means for developers and how to set up an embedded broker step by step. Now let's understand about what is ActiveMQ Classic. Basically it is an open source multi-protocol message broker maintained by Apache Software Foundation. It supports messaging pattern like queues and the topic. What makes ActiveMQ Classic powerful is its support for supporting multiple protocol like JMS, AMQP, STOMP and the MQTT. It's enabling seamless integration across diverse application. You also might heard about that is uh, like uh, active MQ Artemis. While Artemis is an optimized for high performance scenarios, whereas Classic remains a go-to choice for its simplicity, stability and rich protocol support. Now let's talk about the new features that is available in this Spring Boot 3.4. With built-in support for embedding ActiveMQ Classic, you no longer need to install and configure external broker for local development or lightweight use cases. This feature lets you simplify your setup with minimal configurations. Second, it's also use an in-memory broker for quick testing. It's also configure persistence for message durability if it's needed. Spring Boot automatically integrates with ActiveMQ using sensible defaults, saving your from boilerplate configurations. This makes it ideal for small to medium scale applications, testing environments, and scenarios where spinning up a standalone broker is not practical. Next, we need to setting up embedded broker. How we are going to setting this one? For that, we need to add ActiveMQ starter dependencies into our POM file. So I will show you in practical example that how we are going to using this embedded ActiveMQ broker as a messaging system. So now we need to create one Spring Boot project where we need to add the dependencies for using the embedded ActiveMQ. So here if you see I have already created one project where I have used these dependencies for Spring Boot Starter ActiveMQ and ActiveMQ Broker. So these dependencies are needed to use that new embedded feature that is ActiveMQ over here. So if you see the dependency wise, so I have used the latest version that is 3.4.0. This is the ActiveMQ Classic is come with this version. Okay. Next, what else we need to do? We need to create the respective few classes where we need to like where basically we need to use this producer and the consumer services. Producer means from where we need to we need to send the messages. So that actually we need to we need to create over here. So one class where we need to create the producer, another class where we need to listen the data. So producer means where basically we need to send the data from that particular class. So let me create one class. So first of all, let me create one class, let's say message producer service. The responsibility of this class is to send the messages to the queue. Let me create one class message producer service. Okay. So we need to annotate this particular class with a address service annotation. Okay. 
now we need to use the use this JMS template okay if you see that JMS template is basically coming from this org spring framework dot JMS dot core we need to initialize this JMS for as constructor injection we need to do over here if you see that we have used the constructor injection now we need to create another method that is a send message means this particular method is responsible to send the message to the queue like if you see this JMS template actually having one method convert and send this particular method actually taking two parameters one is the duration names and another one is the message that means what message we need to send and this is the duration time so this method actually we are we have used over here okay and here after sending the message we are using this system dot out dot print means we are printing the message next is the controller so from the controller basically we need to create we need to actually use this particular service to send the messages let me add this method so if you see this message controller here we have used this producer service this message producer service and then using this method we are just sending the messages to this queue this is the queue name and this is the message okay okay now we need to create another class actually the listener class the responsibilities of this class is basically it will listen the data from this particular queue from this queue actually it will listen the data and whatever we need to do with this particular message so for that we need to create another component actually and here if you see we need to annotate particular method with the JMS listener and here destination here we need to put the name this is the queue name like where we are pushing the data into this particular queue we are pushing the data so we need to listen the data from this particular queue and here if you see it's here we are receiving only one parameter that is a message so that means whatever the message we are pass sending from over here this particular message we are going to listen from over here so this is that means we have created one service layer where we need to send the data that means it is a producing and where another class we have created which will basically listen the data from that particular queue so that means program wise we have ready now means we have used these two dependencies uh, this uh, active MQ related for using this app MQ classic that is available in the 3.4.0 uh, that is embedded means here we are not using any standalone active MQ server now like application is ready now what else now we need to do like we need to create we need to start this application and then we need to call this particular API to see like if everything is working fine or not like from the controller we need to call this particular API with passing this particular message if we pass this particular message then it will send the messages to this particular queue with this message and after sending this one it will return this particular message that message sent this one okay and that means in response we received and here if you see while we are sending this particular messages in a console it will print this one this log it will print similar way after pushing the data into the particular queue while it will listen the data then it will basically uh, it will listen from the this destination test queue and this particular message so after receiving the message it is printing the log into the console like message received and this is the message so I have already started this application now we just need to call this particular API from the browser this is gate mapping so that means from the browser we can successfully call this particular API so here if you see that send API and then message equals to something this message we are passing now I have hit the enter that means we have called this one now if we see that while sending the messages so that means from the producer class it's showing is printing this particular log that means message sent and also we are receiving this particular log in the log that means we can say that is successfully we are pushing the data into the queue and also it's able to successfully listen from the queue now if we talked about the real world use cases and the best practices so these are the embedded bookers are ideal for local development and testing 
small scale application that don't require standalone brokers. However, avoid using them in production for high throughput systems, scenarios requiring distributing brokers or the advanced monitoring. Now, if you talk to the best practices, like use persistence if message durability is critical, monitor the broker using GMX or external tool. For production, consider a standalone ActiveMQ broker or ActiveMQ Artemis. To wrap up, like Spring Boot 3.4 makes working with embedded ActiveMQ Classic incredibly simple. It's perfect for rapid prototyping, testing and small scale apps. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.